What's up guys, thank you for joining me. I'm your host, Sam, and as promised, today we're talking about the Peak Design Everyday Backpack version two versus the Peter McKinnon X Nomadic Everyday Camera Line. These are both camera bags, and I've owned both of them for a while, and I've done reviews for each of them individually. So if you're interested in a more deep dive into either one of these bags, you can find the links to those reviews down in the description. Before we get into it with the bags, I just wanna say that although this is a versus video, I don't think that one of these bags is better than the other bag. Honestly, it's a toss up. They're both around the same price point. They're both around the same build quality and they both have very unique features. Because these bags are so similar, there's probably a lot of people out there that are torn between buying one or the other. And therein lies my reasoning behind making this video. I want to make your purchase decision easier by pitting them against one another on a feature by feature basis. First on our list of features, we're gonna talk about the looks and aesthetics of each bag. I think both of these bags are great looking. They're very minimalist and simple looking, but this is a very subjective feature. One person might love the way these bags look, another person might hate the way they look, and honestly, it's a tie because of how subjective it is. I will, however, give a slight nod to Peak Design because they offer more colorways, and the black on black option that I have for the bag is actually a vegan option, which Nomadic does not offer. Second on the list is Build quality and this was a very difficult round to score because honestly both of these bags are insanely well built. I did however end up scoring this one for the Nomadic bag. Don't get me wrong, the Peak Design bag is really well built. The stitching, the padding, all the materials, it all feels like it's guarding my camera well and it's gonna last a really long time. I'd probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10 as far as build quality is concerned. It just so happens that the Nomadic bag is like a 9.5 out of 10. This thing is built like a tank. It's so well padded that it feels like you could drop it off a building and all your gear would be 100% fine. Everything from the stitching to the materials, there's absolutely nothing on this bag that I can think to complain about. The next feature on our list is accessibility. How do you get into the main compartment in your bag? The Peak Design bag is side access, so you actually zip open the side and you can swing the bag around and pull your camera out quickly and then put the bag back on your back. The Nomadic is full access, so you put it down on the ground, open the whole thing up and now you can see all your gear in one spot. I'm personally team full access, but I understand the reasoning behind liking side access, so I'm just gonna give this round a draw. Now we have our bonus round and we're gonna talk about the prices on both these bags. The Peak Design Everyday Backpack version two is going to cost you about $279. And for that money, you're gonna get the bag itself, you're gonna get three origami dividers and a bunch of accessory straps that are kind of like built into the bag, but also removable. The Peter McKinnon X Nomadic Everyday Camera Line, however, is going to run you about $299. And for that price, you're not getting any dividers, you're just getting the bag, the ladder system, and it's supposed to come with accessory straps, but mine, however, did not. And these are my thoughts concerning the prices. Yes, the Peak Design Bag is less expensive and you get more accessories and dividers with it in one go for one price. However, the Nomadic Bag is a modular design, so it can kind of grow with you. As you buy more gear, you can get more cubes to put the gear in, and then switch it in and out as you see fit. So the bag can potentially grow with you. Whereas with the Peak Design bag, yes, you can buy more origami dividers, but it's not really a modular design. So it's more of a what you see is what you get situation. The next feature I wanna discuss are the main pockets in the front of each of these bags. On the Peak Design bag, it's called the Mag Latch design, and it's basically expandable storage. If you need more space in the front of the Peak Design bag, you can do it by opening the Mag Latch and putting it on a higher rung on the ladder. On the Nomadic bag, however, it's a pass-through design. So if I put my camera in that main pocket and then I open the back of the bag later, I still have access to that upper compartment from the front or the back. I really wanted to give this round a draw just because I use both of them and they're very practical designs on both sides. If you travel more often, the Peak Design would probably be the more useful option just because I find myself using that expandable storage more often when I'm traveling. But the Loft, I use every single day. The pass-through I use every single day. So I'm definitely giving this round to Nomadic, but it was very close. 
All right, so let's talk about the side pockets. I'm giving this round 100% hands down to the Peak Design Everyday Backpack version two, and here's why. First of all, I like the way that Peak Design put an accessory strap loop inside the side pockets, so when you're not using them, they just hang out in there and you know they're secure. If you wanted to do the same thing on the Nomadic bag, it would have to hang off the side of the bag stupidly. Another thing is Peak Design side pockets are elastic, so they stretch to accommodate whatever sized item you wanna put in them. With the Nomadic bag, this isn't the case. The side pockets have a strip of magnets and they're either all the way open or they're all the way closed. And this doesn't lend itself well to medium sized items. They will be wobbling around in the pocket because the elastic just isn't tight enough to hold them in place. Or you can close the pocket all the way and now all you can fit is like a postcard or a filter. So this next round is arguably one of the most important features on either one of these bags. And that is the main straps on the bags, the shoulder straps. How comfortable is the bag to wear long term when you're on a shoot or if you're traveling or hiking somewhere and unfortunately this round is a tie the main straps on both of these bags are just a little bit different from one another but both of them are really well designed and both of them are insanely comfortable so much so that I've never had my shoulders get tired with either one of these bags the main differences are as follows the peak design bag has rivets at the tops of the main straps so that they can pivot side to side and conform to your body giving you a better fit another feature I love are the main straps straps have magnets in them so that you can snap them to the back of the bag, keeping the bag looking nice and tidy when the straps are not in use. On the nomadic side of things, there's no rivets, there's no magnets, it's a much more traditional design. However, the straps are so well padded that the same amount of gear in my nomadic bag feels considerably lighter than it does in the Peak Design bag. I do however wish that nomadic maybe incorporated something like the rivet design from the Peak Design bag because sometimes it feels like the straps are hugging the back of my neck. While we're on the topic of straps, straps, the next round is going to be the sternum straps. And this round goes 100% again to peak design. First of all, the material. The Peak Design Bag sternum strap is not elastic. The Nomadics is, and it doesn't actually help anything, so I don't know why they designed it to be elastic. Secondly, they included a strap stay, so when you have that excess after you've tightened your sternum strap, it's held down with a strap stay, whereas on the Nomadic Bag, there isn't one, so it just dangles. Last but not least, the hardware is actually metal as opposed to the Nomadic Bag, which is actually the more expensive bag where it's plastic. Peak Design just blew them out of the water this round. And actually, while we're talking about it, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that pretty much all of Peak Design's hardware is made of metal, whereas on the Nomadic bag, you will be finding a lot of plastic. It's a very nice hard plastic, but it's still plastic. That about sums up the outside of both of these bags, so let's move on to the insides. The interior design on both of these bags could not be more different from one another. And although I'm heavily biased towards the Nomadic bag, and I like to carry all my gear in that bag every single day, I'm gonna try to be as objective as I can towards the Peak Design bag because after all it did serve me well for over a year. So first up let's discuss the dividers. In the Peak Design bag they're called origami dividers. They're a little bit customizable. You can flip them up or down and create like shelves inside your bag but they're not nearly as customizable as the modular design in the Nomadic bag. Another thing is because it's like shelves inside your bag in the Peak Design bag your gear isn't held in place like it would be in a traditional camera cube or like it is in the Nomadic bag. So you can feel your gear kind of wobbling around as you walk around. Another thing is the padding in the dividers in the Nomadic bag feels a little bit nicer than the padding in the Origami dividers. The Peak Design bag doesn't feel bad, it just doesn't feel as great as the Nomadic bag does as far as padding is concerned. So Nomadic took this round 100% hands down. There's nothing wrong with the Origami dividers, I think they're well designed, but nothing beats being able to basically design your backpack from the ground up like in the Nomadic bag. The only real thing left to discuss is storage space. The Peak Design bag is 20 liters, whereas the Nomadic bag is 25 liters, so naturally it feels a little bit more spacious. However, the origami dividers definitely waste a little bit of space. If you make a space for a lens and you put it in there and it's not the entire size of the space that you've made, you're now wasting all the extra space in there. Whereas on any other camera cube, you make a space for that lens that's the exact size of the lens, so there's no wasted space. So as far as space is concerned, I'm giving this round to the Nomadic bag. 
bag. Obviously, naturally, it's a little bit larger, so it does have more space, but I feel like it makes better use of that space as well. And that pretty much sums this one up. If you're looking for more information on either one of these bags, I did full reviews of both of them. As I said, you can find the links down in the description. So in closing, if I had a gun to my head and I had to give up one of these bags, it would definitely be the Peak Design bag. I love the Nomadic bag so much. I have it filled with my camera gear and I use it every single day. But there's nothing wrong with the Peak Design bag either. I absolutely love both of these bags. I just happen to love the Nomadic bag a little bit more. So it's really down to personal preference and what you want out of your camera bag. If you got something out of this, consider going down and hitting the like and the sub button. It means the world to content creators like me. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Sam Has a Spending Problem, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.